it's time. It's game time. Let's go. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to use um, some more affordable products too because I know he used a lot of Pat McGrath. We love Pat McGrath, but it's expensive. Ernesto Casillas, I hope I'm saying that right. He's an incredible artist. He does most of Doja Cat's stuff. If not all of it, I'm not sure, but he's incredible. Please follow him. Now, let's get that on her face. She's so pretty. Let's just look at her. Okay, let's do this. I filmed a bunch of stuff before this and I'll be posting it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to do tutorials while I'm gone. They're gonna be quick, but they will be tutorials. But just in case, I wanted to film some content. So that's what I've been doing. I'm actually getting on a plane in just a couple hours and I've lost my mind because I think let's do it. Let's just go for it and do that intense look. It's actually going to be pretty easy. One reason it's not cut crease. It's not too defined. Um, another reason there's no wing liner. We can do it. Please have faith in me. I think we can do it. I just want to remind you, I am going to extend my eyeshadow base pretty far out. Um, I'm not sure how far we're going to take that shadow. So we want to make sure that there's base even over here. If we don't use it, it's okay. We can clean it up later. So he used this one from Pat McGrath. This is the number seven. Meow. If you really love it, get it in the Sephora cell right now. It is beautiful. Love all of Pat's palettes. Amazing, stunning. But, okay, that might not be in the budget. So this has the dusty tones that we need, the dusty rose. And you'll see this pink reflect. It's just like that one. I'm so excited. It's, it's literally just like that. It's... Let's go. By the way, this one is only $45. I love Blend Bunny Cosmetics. They're amazing. They always perform amazingly. I love it. Picasso. Okay, so I'm filming a TikTok as I do this, but God gave me two eyeballs. So we'll start on this one. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this shade right here and a little bit of this shade, and I'm grabbing that on an E27. I'm gonna use a smaller brush today just so I have a little bit more control because her look it's very smoky, but it's also very rounded. So I wanna make sure that I have a smaller brush to kind of keep control of the shadow. It's still gonna be blended, but this first step and our first process of laying the shadow down does need to be a little bit more rounded. Remember, smaller brushes mean more control. If you have hooded eyes or smaller eyes, First of all, they are beautiful. Second of all, a lot of times on YouTube a few years ago, we were taught to just grab a brush like this immediately. Grabbing a very tiny brush is the answer. It's gonna help so much. You're gonna have so much control and you're gonna be able to do that shading that small or hooded eyes need. So I wanna just remind you, don't ever look at an eyeshadow that I'm applying and go, oh, that's not very pigmented. And the reason why is because I build my shadows, so I only pick up a very, very, very tiny amount. It's very important to see how I go into eyeshadow. That's all I do. And the reason I do that, you don't lose control of the eyeshadow. You don't overblend it. It won't become patchy. And you just, you can really work on the shape that you're going for. Now I'm going to switch to an E28 because I need to use the side of the brush. I'm going to pick up this shade. And I'm just gonna to start to tap back and forth. It's gonna to start to transition. I picked up the smallest amount, too much of this. We're gonna lose control. It's gonna get feral. And not the fun kind of feral, the kind where we have to wipe our makeup off with our tears. I just zoomed in on a different picture. Let me show you. It actually looks like there's a little bit of bronzer or a warm brown kind of through here and into the brow. We can do that palette literally has every single color. <laughs> so we're going to grab just a little bit of this on the E28 and I'm just going to tap it ever so lightly through here and a little bit into the brow. We're going to finish it later because we'll have to get our makeup on but I just wanted to show you that I did discover that. There you go. It's very subtle but it was there. We're gonna grab this shade and we're gonna to start to deepen the crease called Plume. Um, we're switching back to the E27. Then we're just gonna press this into the socket. If you can't shut one eye like me, creepy baby doll, this palette was made for me. <laughs> um, all you have to do is kind of tilt your head back. 
and just push it in there. We're gonna soften the line as we go, but we kind of have to start a little bit harsh. Oh yeah, I can already see it coming together. This palette is perfect. This is the Pat McGrath Subliminal, which I do have. And I feel like he used this shade on the lid. So it's just this kind of whitey, pretty champagne. I don't know. I have to look at it closer. Yeah, it's giving me champagne vibes, which I'm pretty sure we can create in here. Actually, I don't think that there's a champagne in here. That one looks a little bit too gold. No, 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 no. It's a little white, a little too white, but let's compare. Just a smeegee too white. Let's see what else I have. I've got to have something more affordable here. Okay, so what I did, I didn't want a palette hop. We got to keep it true here. So I went in and I did, I grabbed that. Okay, it's very important to see how much I picked up. And then I went boop, boop. And then we'll take this and I kind of press it and pull it onto the lid. That looks pretty close. And what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna kind of push it ever so lightly into the crease. It really gives it that ethereal look that she has going on. Just very sparkly. Yet that definition through here is kind of gonna keep it controlled. That looks pretty close. I feel like y'all are advanced enough now to learn about mixing shadows in palettes. I feel like y'all are there. We're there together. Um, a lot of times you'll see the colors in the palette, but it won't be the exact shade. And don't forget that you can always mix them. Mixy, mixy, mixy. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at this picture again and it does look a little bit more blue, which means that this color might have been tapped on top, which this is a blue reflect. This has a ton of blue in it. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm, I'm here to show you. So I'm actually gonna grab this shade. Oh Lord have mercy. There we go, we're gonna grab that, and we're just gonna go ahead and tap that very lightly on top. And now we're back in that blue territory. Boom, plus that kind of cooled off that gold. I love makeup, it is so much fun. Yep, that cooled it off. Honestly, this palette has everything that we needed. This is really cool. Okay, moving on. So we're actually not gonna do winged liner, and I'm just making sure that I've got the blue everywhere looks so good. It does feel like she has the tiniest, tiniest little line in the whole world um, through here. Just kind of like a little bit of lift, almost like another lash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the prototype brush that this dadgum ran away. Found it. And I'm going to grab this shade right here because it looks like it's just a dark shade. And I'm just going to kind of draw a, an extra like. What is all this like about? I am just going to drag this and create kind of just another little lash. That's really all it looks like. It does look like it's extended more. There we go. I'm going to take my prototype brush here and I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow to the lash line so we hide our lashes. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The lashes that I actually posted yesterday are the ones she wore at the Grammys and I have them ready. I'm super excited. We're gonna grab this Marwa Cosmetics eye pencil. This is a brown eye pencil. It seems that that's what she has through her waterline. And I'm gonna do top and bottom. Kiss lashes in the style pret a -Porte. They're so pretty. Now they're, 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 they got the floof, okay? They're super floofy, but they're so pretty and the lash band is so comfortable. There we go. Okay. Forgive me, um, all of my more affordable foundations are way too light for me right now. As soon as I get back, I will go buy all of my faves again. Um, I'm gonna use this one from Makeup Forever. This is their new HD Skin. Really love this one. I'm, I, I'm pretty tan right now. So I'm using the shade 2R28. And I'm just gonna go in. I actually have to finish filming a little corrector video because I actually had green corrector here, you'll see. But I gotta go finish filming that. Be right back. Ooh, that is nice. Mm -hmm, look at that. That's real nice. I'm not gonna go into as much detail with skin today, only because I am in a hurry. Um, I normally do, so just check any of my other saved highlights. 
Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. Love this concealer. Everything in me wants to add the pink corrector, but I just don't have time. So I'm actually just gonna use the Huda powder today. I'm gonna use the more matte one. It's gonna give me a more full coverage look. Super affordable bronzer. One of my all time faves, totally a dupe for the Gucci or the Marc Jacobs bronzer. It's basically just a dupe for all the high-end bronzers wrapped in one. I'm gonna link it right here. And I'm just gonna start to bronze with the C40. It's just so pretty. It never lets me down. Never. Sweep this shade underneath our lash line with an E27. Let's finish off the brow bone. She has quite a bit of shimmer on that brow bone. Ooh, that's it. I was just watching the video. I just saw it somewhere of her acceptance speech. And when it's in the light, it is hitting that hard. It's so pretty. So this is the blush that had the strawberries on it. And while it is very sad, the strawberries are no longer there. It's still a gorgeous blush. This is the blush palette that he used right here, $52. It's very expensive. Beautiful though, beautiful. Um, so that's why I picked this. It's kind of in between. It's a little bit pinky. A little bit of peach. It's not as pink as, say, the Dior, so it felt more like the two here. I don't know how to do this. There we go. It felt like these two right here mixed. So here is the lip liner that he used. It's just a nice brown. I'm not going to go quite as dark since Doja's obviously darker than I am, but we are still going to go in the brown family. This one's from Moira Cosmetics. Again, I'm trying to find more affordable products. I'll label it here. It looks pretty daggum close. We could go darker, but I think this will be perfect. What a beautiful color. Caramel beige. Okay, so that is the lipstick that he used, number four. Um, that one right there. So I need to find something like that. So Wet n Wild Cloud Palette, just a little bit of it. Nice and peachy. Tap that in. Okay, and then we have this gloss, which is also Pat McGrath. It's in the shade Love Potion. And I have this one that I can't get open. It knows I need to be at the airport. So if you check his original post, he has all of the details listed. So just go check that. I'm going to tag him again. This gloss is from Wet n Wild. It looks almost identical. It's the shade Pink Champagne. Yep. Perfect. I think these are $2.99. We could do without that, but it is party. Also, I'm going to wear this makeup to the airport. Here we are. The airport is just going to have to deal with my Grammy award winning makeup look. <laughs> so this lighting is a little bit more true to life. Um, pretty spot on. <laughs> I love this look. I think it's so pretty. I wish I had the Versace dress to go with it, but I don't. But I've got my cute little strappies here. This is from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> I absolutely love this look. It's so 90s with this hair. I just love it. I love it so much. Okay, I'm going to go get on a plane. I packed while I did all this. We're good to go. I love y'all so much. And I'll post all of the details tonight in a little mini rundown. I'm saving this to my highlights. Do not worry. Okay, I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in tonight's comments. I'll be on the plane. Wave at me in the sky. <laughs> okay, love y'all.